what's going on y'all happy new year happy new year's resolutions if you did those um i hope everyone has having a great start to the new year already um but you know what it is it's thursday um we do this every thursday uh if you don't already know get a hip to it there's a whole playlist dedicated to it but welcome to this edition of scattered thoughts where i mean sky gives you 10 minutes or less of scattered thoughts and uh we start a discussion and we have have some discussion as a community um, for today, what I really wanted to dive into is the fact that we are, what, like 40 days, 30 days, l- less than two months away. I don't know the exact number right now, but we are less than two months away from the drop of Lightfall. Lightfall being the next iteration in the Destiny 2 saga and the storytelling. Uh, season of the Seraph, which is going on right now, currently season 19, has a lot of interesting plot points uh, to tease out. Uh, and I've been going back and forth on whether I, you know, I kind of want to start that series because the narrative um, just has so much to it. But again, neither here nor there. Um, but with that, there have been releases of at least, um, I think there's like two trailers, just like regular trailers, theatrical trailers, and then I believe there's like two gameplay trailers um, that have been released by Bungie. I may be off on that number, but it's essentially we have a couple uh, different formats to look at in terms of content that we can uh, expect to see uh, from the, the Lightfall expansion. With the Lightfall, new DLCs, Um, The one thing that we can kind of confidently say is with each new start of a DLC, it starts off pretty strong. Destiny 2 vanilla withstanding, um, all of our, you know, DLCs have come off to a really great start. That said, if you've been listening to other Scattered Thoughts videos, if you've watched other content that I put out there as community discussions or even like commentary I've had when I'm doing walkthroughs, it's very clear that the community is... Uh, and again, I want to be very clear, the, the community and where it is right now and the game and where it is right now, to me, are, are two different conversations. I know a lot of people try and like mesh those conversations, but honestly, I just don't think that's fair to either of those uh, sides of the conversation to kind of mush everything together because the state of the game and where the game is going, the direction, um, how the gameplay loop looks like, what new content looks, you know, all that is like one set of conversations, how the community engages with that. For me, as I said, and the don't be bored in destiny video, as I said, in the community accountability, as I said, in a lot of videos at this point, for me, the way we show up as community members is really important to like one as an individual, like, you know, be an adult, have your own self accountability and, and honor and, and you know, understand how you're showing up in the space, but also as the broader community approaching the game in a healthy way is really important for, in my opinion, it's really important for the success, the long-term success of the franchise and this game that we all love. Now, this is your obligatory, the game isn't perfect. I, I've said all those things, right? Like people are going to, at this point, if you're going to misunderstand what I'm saying, just go ahead and misunderstand and then keep about your day. But, um, all that was standing, all the, the critiques going on. One of the things that I have seen that I think is a little bit concerning that I really would like to do my part of tempering expectations is there's been kind of a wave, an unexpected wave from like the PVP community, the PVE gun. It's not like a super, like, you know, it's not a tsunami, but there's like a wave of, you know, both like influencers and content creators, as well as like community leaders and just folks who play the game where it's like, oh, Lightfall is going to shift things, right? Um, some people even going as far as to say like, oh, Lightfall is going to change everything, right? And I, I got, I got to, you know, I got to do my part to like wheel it back. Cause it's like, it's not <laughs> like Lightfall. Excuse me. Lightfall is going to be a great expansion. I fully believe that with the introduction of strand, um, we're getting closer to our final showdown with the witness. Uh, I think also we'll probably get a little bit more in terms of the dynamics of the witness and the winnower. Um, again, if you're not familiar with the lore, there's ton of great lore videos out there but again as we get to lightfall and the shifts that are happening and also understanding from my last video um that the developers had strand in mind this whole time and that's why things like airborne effectiveness have been put into place the thing that like gets me is just like it's very clear 
there's two things that are very clear, right? One is that Bungie is listening to people's feedback and concerns to an extent, maybe not to the extent that people want it, but they are listening. And then two, that they are implementing changes. One of the things that uh, I have said, as well as other people have said, is that I think far too often we, as a community, share our thoughts and feedbacks and like really want to like get immersed in like making the game the best it can be, making the community the best it can be. At least some people want to make the community great. Shade, no shade. Um, but ultimately get into the fact that like game development takes time and no matter how much we can push back or be upset about things the reality is on launch i think there is a level of things that on launch of lightfall i think there there are some things we can expect in terms of like high quality narrative you know they're they're supposed to be bringing back the legendary campaign mode that we saw in witch queen which was a critically acclaimed right people pvp pv like everybody casuals kind of, everyone loved it right so there's some things that that we can safely but not you know 100 uh, percent expect that are going to go well again the the narrative team has continued to hit it out of the park but ultimately like when it comes to these sandbox changes when it comes to some things that are still glitched in the game uh like duality is still glitched so they've patched it like two or three times now and it's <laughs> it still glitches right and and i think it's so important for the health of the game for folks to lower their expectations because if you're going into lightfall thinking that everything is going to be shifted everything's going to change bungie has been listening to us they're making these mid-season patches that are really big and all the no the the, the, the reality is is. and i think again people really do not take the time to pause and step back but it is not sustainable for bungie to continue to make these big shifts that we've seen as of late oh but bungie's been hiring bungie 3.6 billion from sony the 3.6 billion as we've sh been shown multiple times is not just solely going to destiny 2 it's going to other ips and going to other projects that bungie is producing that plus like the hirings yes bungie has been on a hiring frenzy for several years now but the reality is game development still takes time and everything is not going to be perfect in lightfall point blank period like they're, 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 the, the, the the expectation that the PvP sandbox is going to be perfect, that everything's going to be perfectly balanced in PvE, like, the fact that, like, people are even hinting at some of these conversations or even, like, roughly kind of beating around the bush around some of these conversations is really scary, uh, really concerning to me because the for me i think that does nothing but to set the community and bungie up for failure knowing that the fact that game development although i'm not a game developer i've seen a lot of interviews i've seen a lot of content from game developers themselves talking about how long it takes to implement any change so we're sitting here thinking like oh you know we we want you know there to be a fix to duality or we want there to be a buff to the warlocks soup arc super or whatever the case is and they could hear that, but not be able to get to that type of like coding and bug, you know, like debugging all the things that they have to do, you know, language. Again, I'm not a developer. Still takes several, several seasons and seasons are three months each. Right. And so the fact that like um, I love how Dado put it in one of his recent videos is like some of the changes that we're seeing in season 19. People like, oh, finally, they've been listening to us. It's not that they are finally listened to us is that they listened in like season 15 and season 16 where people have been saying it for so you know some of the feedback for so long about the sandbox about pve etc but it just takes that long to actually like get something coded play tested debugged like getting everything and then eventually putting out into the wild for us to enjoy so a lot of times it not again bungie's not perfect again ash you know all the things right i hate that i have to keep saying that y'all should know this by now but the fact is like it takes so long to build these things out that what will be more than likely, again, I'm not a game developer, but just based on like a lot of the information I've seen, interviews from game developers, the interviews from Bungie employees, that the fact that even with Lightfall, and again, like I said before, some of the things that we can expect to go well, that, you know, the, the campaign will probably do well. The, the narrative will probably do well. There's probably some, you know, new weapons and armor that is going to be really good on launch. But for the long haul, it will continue to have to be an iterative process of things getting better and that you can't walk into life all that thing. Everything's going to be solved server issues, all, you know, like everything is just going to be perfect. 
And for me, I think the, 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 the faster we come to that realization with the little bit of time that we have left before Lightfall, um, and lowering our expectations, I, I think the better off the community actually is going to be uh, in the long run uh, for not just Lightfall, but the final shape and everything that's going to come after. Um, so that's my thoughts. Like, what do you think? Do you, do you think it's okay to have high expectations about Lightfall or should we just kind of keep it a little bit mellow? Let me know.